Hey guys, so I spent the last few days exploring some of the most haunted places in New York City. Keep watching to learn a little bit more about each of them. Number 9. White Horse Tavern The White Horse Tavern dates back to the 1880s but remains best known as a hangout for writers and artists during the 50s and 60s. During this time, Dylan Thomas, famed poet and writer, frequented the establishment. Thomas died after drinking heavily at the White Horse Tavern and then returning to his hotel room at the Chelsea. Since his death, his ghost has been rumoured to haunt the pub, being cited by many and fought responsible for helping himself to mysteriously appearing pints of beer and shots. Number 8. 84 West 3rd Street This address is now a private residence, yet at one time was New York's Fire Patrol Station 2. It was here in the 1930s that a firefighter named Schwartz found out about his wife's infidelity and hanged himself from the rafters. Since then, strange, unexplainable noises from the attic have been reported and the figure of a spectral body hanging from the rafters has appeared. Number 7. 85 West 3rd Street now a university building, this address was once home to famed horror author Edgar Allan Poe. Though his home is demolished, the original banister still remains. Many have claimed to encounter the apparition of Poe standing upon his former home stairs. Number 6. 12 Gay Street This private residence gained notoriety during Prohibition when it functioned as the Pirates Den Speakeasy. It is today more famous for its hauntings. Former New York Mayor's mistress, Betty Compton, is rumoured to still haunt the house. Phantom footsteps are a common occurrence, and the spirits of a well-dressed, top-hat-wearing man known as the Gay Street Phantom, numerous unknown lost ghosts, and a French diplomat apparently still visit the home after death. Number 5. The Merchant's House the Merchant's House is New York City's only surviving, fully intact 19th century family home. It was owned and lived in by Seabury Treadwell and his family for many years and saw many of them die within the property. Today, the residence functions as a museum but has many paranormal occurrences reported. It is believed that there are a few Treadwells still present in the home despite being deceased. Disembodied voices and footsteps, sudden temperature drops, and several sightings of full body apparitions have been documented within the merchant's house. Number 4. Washington Square Park. This area of land was once used by Native Americans to bury their dead. It later returned to use as a burial ground in the 1700s when it was used as a mass grave for victims of a yellow fever epidemic which swept through New York City. Part of the park has also been dubbed Hangman's Elm. This is where many criminals were executed via hanging. Today, strange light anomalies and apparitions of people hanging from the hangman's tree have been reported. Number 3. St. Mark's Church in the Bowery. This is Manhattan's second oldest church dating back to the 1660s. It was originally built for a Dutch colonial who had lost a leg after being struck with a cannonball. Due to his injury, he sported a wooden leg. After his death in 1672, he graced the church with a rather distinctive ghost. Many have heard and seen him walking through the church. He is also thought responsible for ringing the church bells and disrupting sermons by speaking loudly over the top of them. There is also reportedly a female spirit seen roaming the halls of the church. Number 2. Renwick Smallpox Hospital This now crumbling ruins opened its doors to patients in 1865. Being situated on Roosevelt Island to quarantine the sick from the rest of the population, it is rumoured that during the hospital's 30 years of operation, it saw around 14,000 deaths within its walls. Many who have visited the area have reported hearing phantom noises with no apparent source. 
seeing unexplainable light anomalies and dark shadow figures lurking within the crumbling ruins. Number 1. The House of Death This house has a nasty history and a reputation for being the most haunted place in New York City. It is now a private residence but rumoured to have the ghosts of 22 individuals living within it, including that of Mark Twain, who briefly lived there, and that of children, an elderly lady, shadow people, and a lady in white. It is also the place where Joel Steinberg, a former defence attorney, committed an atrocious murder and child neglect. There you have it. New York's most haunted places. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this list and don't forget to like and subscribe. To find more spooky content, head to amyscrypt.com. Until next time, stay spooky.